through there and across the line. So race pace wise, that looks like a 122.0. Oh, and we've Ooh. got a car big time in the wall. It's one of the Saubers, oh, Pascal Wehrlein, with the, yes, the yellow on the top of the uh, helmet at the uh, T-bar, and it's a red flag to the session. It has been stopped. Now, is that 11? It is, isn't it? The graphic showing yeah. us where he is. Oh, oh, and he's gone in very hard. Yeah, that's a biggie. You don't have a small accident there. I crashed. Massive. Hello, Stuart Pascal. Are you OK? Yeah, all OK. A massive crash, he called it. Karun, you said that you don't tend to have small accidents there. And we saw Givenazzi hit the tyres, but just look how distorted that tyre barrier is. He really has hit that hard, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, no, he's gone in. That's a big, big impact. And uh, it's going to be tough for Sauber, because as you said, they've got a big update here, but I don't know how many sets of the update they've got, or, you know, in terms of spares and things like that. Um, this, you know, could be a little bit tricky for Berline going forward. It's interesting where he's gone in. Let's take a look at the uh, the actual accident then. Guess the back end breaks away here. Uh, oh, uh, that's that's tricky. That's nasty. Okay, flicked him round from one side to the other, and that's uh, that's a nasty shunt. He's had some feral accidents, Pascal, this year, hasn't he? I think. Ooh, that is a big one. Those marshals did well to get out of the way. And that actually, where that is, there aren't so many tyres there because they kind of don't expect a car to end up exactly where he did end up. So yeah, you normally see people. He overcorrected. Look, he's caught it, and then he's overcorrected it, and that's just instantaneously spat him off. Uh, sixth gear. It's a lot of speed. Good to see him get out of the car. Modern F1 cars are very, very strong. It's good to see those marshals are okay too, because there was a lot of debris flying around, and they were, as you said, right behind where he hit. Yeah, I mean, if you were going to have a high-speed accident in any car on the planet, you'd want to have it in a Formula One car. You know, they're incredibly safe, aren't they? They are, yes. I suppose the speeds, of course, a Formula One car is doing means that the energy involved in an accident is massive, of course. But you're right, they are, they are in many ways built for that. Um, so the car being picked up now and it will be brought back to the pits, but that's very much end of session for Pascal Wehrlein and a lot of work for Sauber to do. Not uh, quite how he wanted to impress his new team boss, Fred Vasseur, on uh, day one of their uh, cooperation at the track anyway. And, uh, well, these things happen. Vasseur's been around racing long enough to know that uh, these things will happen when drivers are putting a lot of effort in. And sadly, uh, Verline, who has scored twice, let's not forget, for that team this year. Ericsson hasn't scored any points at all. But Verline is one of those drivers who can drag a result. We've seen it when he was at Manor. We've seen it at Sauber this year with a car that really hasn't been as competitive as they hoped. But on this occasion, yeah, uh, that front crash structure has taken a, a real pounding as well. So there's going to be an awful lot of rebuilding work to be done on that car, especially as it hit both sides. Uh, hit first one side and then the other. And that's uh, evidence of some of that damage there.